One person is dead after a crash on Interstate 65 this afternoon. Investigators say the driver had a blood alcohol content more than three times the legal limit. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now and reports the person's name has not been released at this hour. Brittany? Dan, I-65 was down to one lane for about two and a half hours this evening while a reconstruction team was on scene. It happened around 4.30 in the northbound lanes, just a few miles north of the State Road 43 exit. State Police Sergeant Kim Riley says a white SUV swerved off to the right side of the road, then back onto the interstate and crashed into the back of a semi. The driver of the SUV was taken to IU Health Arnett Hospital, where he later died. Investigators say his his BAC was 0.29. Riley reminds drivers to think twice about drinking and driving, especially with Labor Day weekend just a day away. Leave the alcohol and drugs at home to get when you get where you're going. Then, if you want to have fun, have fun. But when you're out here driving, it's a very serious thing. As you can see, someone here probably didn't take it as serious as they should have. Sergeant Riley says investigators are not releasing the name of the driver of the SUV until the family has been notified. Again, the northbound lanes were down to one lane for about two and a half hours. They reopened shortly before 7 p.m. tonight. Brittany Tyner, News 18.